you feel like, you know, nothing's meant for me, nothing's right for me, you know, I'm just going to be on this earth to exist. And if you're one like me, I don't want a normal existence. I don't want to be here on this earth and live a normal existence. I want to create my own path. I want to create my own destiny. And no matter how long it takes and no matter how hard it is, I want to create. And I can almost guarantee you behind the camera are one like me. You want to create. You want to be your own person. You want to be able to retire your mother, your father. You want to be able to say to your wife that you can do this. You don't have to work anymore. You know what I mean? You want to create and when you don't know what your purpose is when you haven't seen results when you haven't seen success and when you don't know who you are it's difficult it's disheartening it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel right but over time through that forging through that going through the fire through that trial and error through becoming a man through doing things that you don't want to do through the discipline through what it is over time you will see success if y'all could just ignore the hair real quick, I just got back from the gym. It's Thanksgiving Day in Canada. Happy Thanksgiving. It's not coming out on Thanksgiving, but happy Thanksgiving. Maybe it'll come out on the American Thanksgiving. I wanted to relate to all the young men out there, especially myself, and this is a talk I've had to have with myself over the past little bit, just to be comfortable with the feeling of not fitting in, just to be comfortable with the feeling of I don't know what my purpose is and I don't know what my calling is. What are we here to do? What are we meant to do? What did God put us on this earth to do? And today I wanted to have a chat between me and you, kind of friend to friend, about you know that feeling of fitting in, that feeling of trying to find your purpose, that feeling of what am I, that feeling of what if, that feeling of who am I and what can I become, because that feeling is something that I never dealt with before. But as I've gotten older, as I've kind of come to know myself and as I've gotten to know God, I've kind of struggled with the idea of, you know, what am I here for? What is my purpose? What am I here to do? What can I do? And what am I, what's my mark going to be on this earth? I've heard it said that a knife doesn't get forged one time, a knife gets forged over and over and over again. And what happens is that knife gets strong. And I really do think us as humans, we go through the same thing. Sometimes those experiences are learning experiences and they get you to know yourself and they get you to know what your purpose is. For instance, I know many people who have had certain things happen in their life, but from that traumatic experience, they've learned what they've had to do. They've learned what they've wanted to do. They've learned what their purpose is. Sometimes, you know, going through that forging period, going through that period of you know, struggle, that period of pain, that period of hurt, that period of nastiness is sometimes what you need to come to find your purpose. People think that their purpose comes from higher calling, which isn't wrong. People think sometimes their purpose comes from just an intuition, an innate feeling, a knack. And while, you know, that might be the case for some people because everybody finds their, their, their purpose in a different way, I do think that some people, you know, us masculine men, us men do find our purpose through pain, do find our purpose through trial and error, do find our purpose through, through, through meaningful work, through action, through taking action through going out there and going and doing certain things you know I don't think many people would come to know their purpose had they not gone through those struggles that they went through was that period of they almost call it like a limbo where you're kind of getting a bit older where you're kind of starting to go through a few more things where you kind of start to model yourself into a man where you start to model yourself into a character you want to be and that period that you go through that period where it's kind of just modeling yourself after somebody or making yourself into a man it, it is a bit strange because then you start to realize what your purpose is when I was first going through things when I was first you know becoming a man per se, I didn't know what I was here to do. And that kind of bothered me because I feel like us as humans, we always need some sort of evidence. We always need some sort of evidence to go off of. We always need some sort of evidence to base our facts on, right? We base facts off of evidence. And when we can't base our facts off of that, I want to do this or my purpose is to do this, or I'm here to do this off of the evidence that we don't have. Well, how can we say that we're here to do this when we don't have evidence? And that feeling that you go through in that stage where you don't have evidence, you haven't put in the work, you haven't gone through the forging period, you haven't gone through the trial period can be a bit difficult because it's like, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? Am I really here to do that? And you know, along the path, along the journey, what you're going to go through and what I've struggled with the most assessment of self identity is an assessment, almost kind of like a self crisis where you don't think it's ever going to work. You don't think that it's ever meant for you. I know many men struggle with the idea that they don't think it's meant for them. You know, I think we put so many people who have been successful on such a high pedestal that we don't feel as if we can reach there. Always viewing the giants as a grasshopper, not viewing the giants as a giant because you yourself are a giant. You know, I dealt with that for a very long time is like, is it meant for me? Is what I want to do after going through that trial period, after going through that forging period, is that what I want to do? Is the answer relies on you. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to know the answer regardless. It may not feel like you know the answer, but you're going to know. Feeling of not knowing what you want to do, that feeling of what's my purpose, what's my calling, can sometimes be disheartening, can sometimes be uh, a pretty nasty feeling, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's not
not a nice feeling. It's not a good feeling because you almost feel lost. You feel like, you know, nothing's meant for me. Nothing's right for me. You know, I'm just going to be on this earth to exist. And if you're one like me, I don't want a normal existence. I don't want to be here on this earth and live a normal existence. I want to create my own path. I want to create my own destiny. And no matter how long it takes and no matter how hard it is, I want to create. And I can almost guarantee you behind the camera are one like me. You want to create. You want to be your own person. You want to be able to retire your mother, your father. You want to be able to say to your wife that you can do this. You don't have to work anymore. You know what I mean? You want to create. And when you don't know what your purpose is, when you haven't seen results, when you haven't seen success, and when you don't know who you are, it's difficult. It's disheartening. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel right. But over time, through that forging, through that going through the fire, through that trial and error, through becoming a man, through doing things that you don't want to do, through the discipline, through what it is, over time you will see success. Hard work over time equals success is one of the most key fundamental values you'll ever learn in your life. Hard work over time equals success. So no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, that feeling of what's my purpose will be answered eventually. That feeling of what's my purpose is going to come to you eventually, but you got to keep going through the fire. You got to keep forging yourself. You got to keep doing trial and error things. You got to keep going at it and keep doing the things that you're doing because the answer will be told to you eventually, but just keep at it.